Hi everyone, welcome back to my short video tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to convert short object into H5AD files. So if you are a R and a short user, sometimes you want to do other analysis. For example, the RNA velocity analysis. The tools are only available to use in Python, so we have to convert our short object into Python files. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert short object into H5AD file. So uh, I'm going to use a short object we created in uh, my Surat video tutorials video 7. In this tutorial, we perform the integration for three uh, single cell RNA sequencing data set for he healthy human lung. So we can read this uh, Surat object into R. So you can see. Uh, we named this short ob object as NML. If you have a look at my folder, here I have my uh, R scripts and also the short object. Later when we s run the R scripts, we will save the files in this folder. So let's use the uh, dim plot to have a look at the cell clusters in this object. So if we run uh, the dim plot, then zoom in, you can see we have 17 um, cell clusters in this data set. So we aim to uh, create uh, the same um, number of cell clusters and also uh, the same pattern in Python. So first we need to write the metric theta. We can use the short function get C data to um, write the matrix data. So if we have a look at the object, you can see the matrix data was saved in the uh, C's RNA uh, in the counts. You can see here is the uh, you can see here is the matrix data. So we can run the short function get a C data to obtain the count matrix in this object from a C RNA and the, the slot count. So let's run this function. So you can see we created a, a large DG matrix data frame here. So we can save the matrix data in to the folder I show you in the beginning. So let's have a look at the folder. You can see we have a matrix data here. So in order to uh, create uh, the same number of cell cluster and also the same um, reduction pattern in Python, we also need to uh, prepare the files for uh, dimensional reduction including PCA and uh, UMAP. So we can have a look at the data again. Uh, the PCA and also UMAP was saved in uh, our analysis for Dimensional reduction, you can see here we have the uh, PCA information and also UMAP information. We have uh, UMAP has two information, UMAP1 and uh, UMAP2. So then we can uh, write the uh, CSV files to save the PCA information. We uh, so if we 
go to have a look at the files again. You can see we save the CSV file for PCA. We can open this file. You can see we have uh, PC1 to PC50 because when we run PCA uh, during the analysis, we run the PC1 to PC50. So next, we need to write the gene information. So, so we know in the count matrix, the row names are gene names and the corner name are the cell barcode. So we can write the gene information from the row names. If we run, we will write the gene information uh, into the CSV files. If you look at my files again, now we have the gene files now. So um, let's have a look at the metadata because we need to write a, a metadata as well to create the cell clusters. So we have a look at the um, metadata. You can see in the metadata, row names are the barcode, and uh, you know, we have the uh, origin identity for each data set and the n counts, n features, percentage of mitochondria RNA, so the cell canisters uh, at the resolution of 0.3. We need to write the barcode information into the metadata. So we can create a, a new column for the barcode if we run. Then we have a look at the metadata again. Now you can see we have the barcode information. So we also uh, to write the UMAP1 and the UMAP2 information in the metadata. So we can have a look at the metadata again. Now you can see we have the information for UMAP1 and the UMAP2. So we have all the information. So we can um, create a file called the metadata. So if you look at my file again, we have the matrix, we have the gene names, we have the uh, PCA information and also the metadata. We open the metadata, you can see we have the barcode, UMAP1 and UMAP2 information, cell clusters at the resolution 0.3. So we created all the files that we need to read into Python. So now we can uh, read the so now we can read our threat object into Python. I'm using a uh, Jupyter notebook. So first, let's uh, note all the dependencies. So now we can read the matrix data into Python. So because the matrix data was created in SURAT, so we need to transpose it. So we created uh, a data. So let's uh, um, have a look at the a data. So at the moment, you can see we have more than 11,000 cells and more than 19,000 genes. So at the moment, we don't have other information. Now we can read the metadata uh, into Python. And also read the gene names into Python. So we can use the metadata that we obtained in threat analysis 
as a data observations, and we know um, in a data the barcode was saved in the observation index, and the G names were saved in variable index. So we can give this information to the A data. So now let's have a look at the A data again. So you can see. So now our A data has the cell numbers and the uh, G numbers, and the, we also have the uh, metadata information for the origin, ident, n count, and features, percentage, or mitochondria DNA. Uh, cell canisters at a resolution 0 0.3. We have the barcode UMAP1 and the UMAP2 uh, information. So now we can read uh, in our PCA information and uh, provide the PCA information to our A data and also provide the uh, UMAP information to our A data. So let's have a look at our A data again. You can see now we have the uh, dimensional reduction information for PCA and the UMAP. So we have read all the information and that we analyzed in SURAT into our A data. So now we can use the uh, plot function, have a look at the cell clusters. So in the uh, metadata we know they are throughout clusters. You can see here it's throughout clusters. So we can run um, the plot. So you can see uh, we have exactly the same um, number of cell clusters, 17, and also the same pattern for each cell clusters in the throughout object. So we can uh, use different uh, cell markers. For example, the uh, EPCAM is a marker for epithelial cells in the lung, and the PTPRC is a marker for uh, immune cells. Collagen 1A2 is a marker for um, mesenchymal cells, and the CLDN5 is a marker for endothelial cells. So if we run the markers, we can see um, the epithelial cells, immune cells, mesenchymal cells, and the endothelial cells. So we created a H5AD file in Python, and the cell clusters look exactly the same as our threat object. So we can save this H5AD file as AML. So if you have a look at my uh, folder again, now we have a H5AD file. So we saved it. Next time, when you need to do uh, your analysis, we can just read this uh, file into Python, we can perform the rest uh, analysis. So I hope my video is useful for your work.